Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple but super useful trick how to generate perpendicular transects along a line. If you find this helpful, don't forget to subscribe. I'll keep posting QGIS tutorial every week. All right, let's jump right in. So first step is to generate heavenly spaced points along a line. So here you can see the Marne River. And maybe you want to um, calculate um, topographic transects along this river. So first thing is to uh, open the toolbox and we will use um, the tool points along geometry. A window will appear. So here you just select uh, your river, River Man. So here will be the distance between two points along this geometry, along this polyline. So for example, we want a distance of 300 meters. You can, of course, select another unit if you want to. And we will create interpolated points. So if you want, you can save those um, outputs. Okay, and we can run the process. You will have many points along this um, riverbed. So if we open the attribute table, you will see that each point have an azimuth. So the second step will be to um, generate perpendicular lines um, on each point you have along this river. So you right click and go to properties. Here you click on this icon and you choose geometry generator. What we want to um, generate our line. So you, you choose this option. And here you can write an expression that can generate perpendicular line starting from this point. So you can write this expression. So the function project is used to generate new geometry by projecting from a point and the function make line uh, will um, generate the new line you see here. So, okay, and here um, is the distance we want uh, those lines uh, to be. So, so we click okay. And you will see beautiful um, transects that are strictly perpendicular to um, this uh, river. And finally, maybe your last um, step is to um, extract uh, those features into real lines. So far from now, um, those transects only exist as a symbology. They are not real vector line yet. So to convert them into real line, we will go to the toolbox and we will use our geometry by expression. All right, you see this vector geometry tool, you choose your points and the output geometry type uh, will be line. And here you can set uh, the ge geometry expression you had in your properties. Oops. All right. So here you can copy and paste your geometry expression here so that um, this tool will export all um, the transects um, calculated by this expression. You can save your file wherever you want. Okay, and run the process. You have your transects has a real vector line here. In the next video, I will show you how to create topographic transects to analyze riverbeds in detail using powerful QGIS tools. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.